Hey guys, this is Spartan Ace from Spartan Productions, and today I have another LEGO Star Wars mock to show you. It's called Assaulting the Separatist Base on Rasan. So this is kind of more of a bunker um, built into the cliff here. The Separatists have uh, set up, as I said, a bunker in the base here. So um, there's just a small part of it. Um, that uh, is shown here because there's obviously more that they would have put in, in if it's a uh, actual bunker so there's two corporate alliance tank droids in the hangar here and they come out um, just a sec. so they both come out like that and on either side are two sniper droids on a little bit of an elevated platform there's some detailing on the back, and then two more on the opposite side. So it, the corporate lines tank droids fit really nicely into that. And then here we have the command center with General Grievous and a Trend Ocean mercenary and uh, Newt Gunray, and they're discussing what to do as the Republic is attacking them. And in the back there are some droids looking at um, a hollow tables back there and discussing strategy and then here is a Republic spy if you've seen my other videos you would um, have known that this guy has been in all of my Star Wars mocks and he has different guns each time so I gave him these little pistols from Clone Army Customs it's pretty cool so that is the inside of my bunker and we'll go to the top of it now where the separatists are all holed up. Um, there's lots of droids here, as you can see, um, and two uh, uh, proton cannon turrets. And here there are two shells each, extra, um, on these racks. And I got the idea from um, Chris from Chris Productions. Uh, they worked. They looked like they worked well in his videos, so I decided to try it and they did work well. And for each of the turrets, there's a droid loading another shell into it. And for this one, it's shooting at the ARC-170 that's coming towards the base to strafe it. And uh, it missed, so there's a flak explosion going on right there, <clears throat> right near the tip of the fighter. And then here, two of the 212th Airborne Troopers have used their jump kits to get to the top from the forest and they're gunning down a bunch of droids on this section of the cliff and here's a uh, weak way pirate mercenary as well in the center there's always a the ever-present droid commander in all those battles throughout the Clone Wars and um, a little bit of detailing here um, to make it look more like a hill and then here is a bombed out village that was at the base before the separatists that at the base that was at the base of the cliff before the separatists uh, made it into a bunker, and it's all the civilians are dead, um, dead from a long while ago. And then here's a bomb crater, um, and there's a guy with all his parts blown off um, from the bomb that exploded there, and. As you can see, there's an airborne trooper getting shot by one of the droids at the top, and another one there getting shot. But um, the rest of the guys are breaking through. Another airborne trooper got a uh, grappling um, hook up to the top, and now he's ready. He's about to climb it. And the same thing with Commander Cody over here. He and Obi Wan are leading a couple of troopers to get up to the top, although one of them is getting shot there. So they're going to climb up there and try to take out that proton turret so it can't take down the gunship that's supplying them with reinforcements there with Anakin. And Commander Oppo, I think he was Commander then. This is right before Episode 3 started, by the way. So that's Commander Oppo right there. And he and four other 501st troops are about to bring in reinforcements. So this is after the first fatal landing that the Republic did. As you can see there's a um, ATTE that got destroyed by the proton turrets as well as a swamp speeder. 
But after that, they started bringing in more um, attack waves, such as this arc fighter, and they dropped down a uh, command, forward command post there. I designed that myself, and it's like the one from episode two. So there are some shock troops guarding it, um, and around the post there are also, there's also a yeah, commando squad. Um, there's Gregor there, um, and three other commandos, and they're about to. Uh, this guy's sniping, um, droids up here, he got that one, and they're making a plan of attack to attack the bunker. Here is a 212th clone with a rocket launcher, and he's shooting up here. He blew up that little bunker area where that super battle droid was. And then down in the forests, lots of trees, there are some more troops that are advancing, sorry, there's a lot of trees. There are some more troops that are running up to the wall here, where these guys got up. And then here is a staff coming around here on top of the ATTE to shoot the clones at the command, pe command post. Um, although there are more reinforcements coming from the clones, there are two bark speeders. Oh, where's the other one? Yeah, the other one is right there. And then there's also an ATRT from the Clone Turbo Tank. That's one. It's my favorite one they've created. It's the most accurate to size in the movies. Um, yeah, and then I like this part right here with all the um, grass I built up on top of it to kind of make like a field-ish thing with lots of grass. I thought that turned out pretty well. And then there's trees all over the place, just in little groves and grass also. Um, yeah, there's some dead clones underneath here. When that got shot down. So I think that this mock turned out really well. I'm pleased, really pleased. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment below and I'll be bringing out new mocks soon.